Hello there. Um, so today I want to take a look at how to do position control in Godot, um, which is a topic that comes up a lot. People are always asking, you know, how do I, how do I control the position or speed of an object? Usually the answer that you'll see on the forums or wherever is that you can't do it directly because basically you're going to mess with the physics engine. Of course, it's doing collisions, it's doing gravity, it's doing friction. You can overwrite those values in the force setting function. So you can override that function and then set them directly. But even so, you're still not getting a true sort of physical response. Um, what I want to show today is a bit of an alternative to that. I have um, basically a rigid body 3D here with a, a ship that I modeled inside of it. Uh, and we're going to do some uh, position and speed control using a PI controller. So PI controllers, you can look it up if you're interested in. I, I won't get into the details too much, but basically we're going to be applying impulses to this uh, this body. And we're going to be able to control that speed really precisely using using curves in Godot, which is a really awesome awesome way to achieve this. Um, so before I get started here, I'm just going to clear some of these settings and I'll walk through what all this does. Um, but basically, I have, yeah, rigid body 3D, I have a script that I attach to it. It's got all these parameters that you can set. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send this ship into the negative X direction um, about 50 meters. And the way this works is you have like an X motion planner is what I'm calling it. It's just a curve in Godot. And the way you read this is that the, the zero value corresponds to whatever your start position is. So we have a configuration for the start position here. And what it means is, let's take a look at the points. It means that you're going to start at 40% speed. Um, and then you'll ramp up to 100% speed, you'll coast there for a bit, and then you'll decelerate until you finally stop. Um, the last point has a value of zero. So that's how you kind of control that. And like, there's some pretty awesome features like in Godot where you can change the tangents and like, you can really, you can really dial this in if you, if you want to, um, I'm going to keep it simple, um, and just have this kind of boxy curve. And yeah, so all we have uh, other properties, we've got this position control. I'm going to turn that on. Start, stop. I've got this bound to a key, but I'm just exposing it. Um, probably not for any good reason right now. And then position set point is negative 50. So that's where I want to send it to in the X direction. Start position, zero, zero, zero. That's just the transform of my rigid body. You can see it here. Um, and then this KP and KI, these are tuning constants. I wouldn't worry about them too much. What we're going to do is we're going to show with gravity off first. Um, and then with basically with gravity off and friction off, you're going to get the most precise control. You're going to get basically exact control of your, of your motion planner. Um, but as you introduce forces, these, the control system is not going to be, you know, respond as well, which might be, it might create a cool effect or it might be something you're, you're looking for. Um, the speed set point, I'm going to set to 15. And yeah, so this is going to target 15 meters a second once we hit that 100% uh, speed mark. So let's just, um, oh, and there's also force limits. This just, this just puts a limits on how much of an impulse you can apply. Um, in the script, we're just doing apply central impulse here. I'll, I'll show this a, a little bit more later. Uh, and I'm gonna share this on, uh, on GitHub. So you'll see the repository down below. Um, but yeah, so it's just uh, some sort of limit on how much of an impulse you apply so the thing doesn't freak out. So if we run this, um, I have it bound to a key right now, so it's not doing anything. But if I press L, it it's going to move in that direction, right? So it takes off, um, hits that speed, and then it slows down and stops. So that's your that's the 50 meter point right there. Um, nothing too exciting or too interesting. Obviously, gravity's off, so it's not falling. Um, but let's uh, let's do some other things. What we can do here, uh, well, let me first turn on gravity. I actually haven't done this test, but we'll just, uh, we'll see what happens. It should just fall or should just like skitter along the ground, but we'll see. So we launch it and yeah, it's just going to fall to the ground. I've got rotation locked, so it's not doing any weird stuff. Um, this might be an effect you want too, right? If you have a speeder or something kind of like shooting over the horizon, that could be a really cool effect. But let's do gravity off, and I'm going to add another motion planner to the y direction. I'm going to use the same curve. Like you can use whatever curve you want. Um, like I said, you can really dial in that that speed profile if you'd like. 
And then all we have to do is set those tuning constants, which don't matter too much. And what I'll have to do is I'll have it just raise up a few meters, maybe raise up, um, sorry, position set points up here. Let's have it raise up 25 meters and maybe we'll do this one a bit slower. So in the Y direction, it's gonna max out at five meters a second. Let's run this. Yeah, so you can see you get both motions there and you know, that's not necessarily a very good looking motion, but you know, it's, it's very precise. It's exactly whatever you specify in your, in your motion path. So, um, that's kind of cool. If we turn gravity on, so I'm going to turn the gravity scale up to, oh, not that high, up to one and let's tune down. I think what I want to show first is like, even with gravity on with these tuning constants, um, I'm pretty sure the 0.5 in the proportional term is it's going to be able to uh, to hold it. So let's just see what happens. So press L. And that looks basically the same. Um, yeah, pretty much. What you can do is you can really reduce these tuning constants. So I'm changing the, no, oh, not that one. I'll change the KP to maybe 0 0.01 in the vertical in the y direction and i'm thinking this is probably not strong enough to actually um you know go against the force of gravity um obviously this thing is set to like one kilogram right now so you could change the mass as well if you want to mess with that um let's see what it does but there you go so if you take a good look there it's actually doing some oscillating and, and this is what happens when a control system is not tuned uh it might settle down and reach that position eventually depending on what that integral term is set to once again, these are like technical things about PI controllers. You can look it up if you want, um, but that's kind of a cool effect as well. If you want some oscillation uh, in the, you know, at when it reaches that end, end point. So the other thing I kind of wanted to show is that this is all with position control on. If we turn off position control. It's just going to set the speed exactly. So right now, 15 meters a second would actually be you know, to the right here, which is not the direction I want. Uh, if I change this to negative 15 and position controls off, so it's not really following that motion plan. All it's doing is it's going to launch it and get it up to that, that speed basically. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, press L and yeah, so this might be a cool effect too, right? If you just want to launch something out um, and just have it go, that could be, that could be kind of neat. Um, yeah, so that's that's just gonna like go forever, basically. One thing I should mention is I've got rotation locked right now. You probably could use this technique to mess with the rotation, but um, once again, the this is like a central impulse, so it's applying it to the center of the body. You'd have to mess with the, like the the moment of inertia. And then getting a control system to rotate ac accurately is, is a little more difficult. In principle, it's the same idea, but uh, I don't have any, any implementation for that. Um, code's gonna be on GitHub. I'll post the link below. Um, I mean, really there's not too much going on here. Basically, we've got a position control section and a, a speed control section. And at the end of the day, we're just gonna be applying those impulses based on what the controller um, says to do in order to hit our motion plan or targets. That's all it basically is. And then it's just a little bit of dealing with the curves, um, the good old curves. So I'll try to stay out of the technical details on the control system. Like I said, code's going to be below. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share. So uh, thanks for watching. And I hope, uh, I hope that you got something out of this.